Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a point of view drive with the new Peugeot E2008. And I already did a night point of view drive with all the details. So you can check that out as well. But today we are focusing on the drive during the daylight. And as you can see, we have the electric version with 136 horsepower. Beautiful design. You do have this uh, front grille in the same color as the body of the car, since this is the electric one. 17 inch wheels. Let me show you the side profile. And then at the back, we do have the 3D LED lights connected with this black part. Of course, no exhaust since this is the fully electric one. And without further ado, let's actually take it for a spin. If you want to know more details, do check out my in depth review of this car. Anyway, let's jump inside. We are greeted with this beautiful interior and we're gonna start the drive now. This is the view you have as a driver of this car. You start it by pressing the start engine button. You just have this, uh, you know, like a beeping sound and then you are good to go. You start it with silence. And uh, yeah, gear lever, put it to drive. And just like that, we are off. You will immediately notice the small steering wheel, very sharp actually, and uh, I really love driving with this small steering wheel. Actually put the key here. And in front of us there is a digital cockpit. Uh, 3D one actually, uh, you have some elements closer to you, some are further away. I'm not sure if the camera is catching that. We do have the energy flow here. You can also have different views here, for example, we can put on the navigation. Now we have the navigation on both of our screens. You can put the navigation also to day mode. Uh, let's do it right now, map color. See, now we have the day mode on. Let's go back. And this cockpit can be also adjusted. You can have a bunch of different views depending on what you need to have in front of you or what you want. Tell me in the comments what do you think about this no sound during the drive. Personally, I am a fan of that. I mean, I'm starting to like it. Speaking about the engine, 136 horsepower, 260 newton meters of torque, immediate power when you press the throttle. You also have various driving modes. Eco, now we are in eco when you put the throttle, when you actually push the throttle in the eco mode, you see that you don't have that much power and then in normal mode of course you get it and in sport mode uh, that one is of course if you want sporty drive also the range is different compared to the modes right now in sport mode range is 250 put it back to normal mode 264 and in the eco mode let's see what the car says 270 eight kilometers and uh, if you are wondering how will the pedestrians hear you there is actually 
a sound that this car is producing when you start to drive it I will maybe do a separate video just on the sound so that you see uh, it's a specific sound you can't hear it now for example when you are in the garage uh, you can definitely hear it and yeah that's the of course mandatory by the law because it would be dangerous you know not to have sound so we will drive through the city and then we'll also go to the highway so that you see uh, the lane assist and uh, so that we see you know how does this car perform on you know when you're driving 130 kilometers per hour if you see this when you put the throttle you get immediate response and once again for all the details of this car go check out my full in-depth review and now tell me in the comments how do you like it and let's also talk about the driving style uh, when you you know drive a car like this obviously uh, there is the special mode for the recuperation of the energy it's called the b mode what you need to do is just press the gear lever towards you you see on the dashboard b and on the b mode uh, when you release the brake i um, mean sorry when you release the throttle see that the car is starting to brake so look at this i'm not gonna brake now and i can just turn here because the car brakes and uh, of course that is the way to charge your battery and uh, i must say it feels nice some people will want uh, you know even more uh, recuperation of the energy but uh, yeah some EVs do have it for example uh, then you don't need to use the brake pedal at all sometimes so you can drive it just with one pedal that's not the case here so okay now I'm doing it without the brake pedal but you know if I need to brake harder definitely I would need to use brakes And uh, yeah, let's go back to normal mode. And let's go back to drive. So now it feels more like a normal car, you know, when you release the throttle, not a, nothing is uh, happening. And you're just cruising along and going outside of the city. And the AC switches are unfortunately on touch, but you can use the voice command. To begin, say a command after the tone. Increase temperature. Temperature changed. So you can use that. Maybe it, uh, you know, it's a bit easier than to just uh, do this. So the air blower is on your left, and then this is for the temperature. And there's no home button the home screen i think so yeah i mean you have what you know what you choose that you have in front of you i would love to see maybe a like a home button with all the functions at once but i do love the navigation with the 3d shape actually let me show you the navigation view here in front of us and then you will see for example this tower you see it here that is so cool loving this like a spaceship really impressive technology for a car like this I must admit So nice to have all this power you know available instantly and yeah I must say I'm really beginning to like the concept of the EV cars And let's talk about the battery and charging so this car has a 50 kilowatt hour battery and dc charging is up to 100 kilowatts so should be 
pretty fast and it's fast uh, you know when you have a fast charger yesterday I charged it um, on the 50 kilowatt charger and uh, well yeah I think if the infrastructure was better here in Croatia uh, it would definitely you know attract more buyers but uh, other than you know the big cities so the infrastructure is not that good yet in Croatia but if you are watching from some other country tell me you know how is the infrastructure in your country and what do you think about the EV models also you don't need to worry about the battery because Peugeot gives you 8 year warranty so thumb up for that and range well I already spoke about it the official papers say that it's possible to go up to 320 kilometers but in reality of course uh, it's usually less but it's not bad actually uh, I will manage for example with the city drive yesterday I would manage more than 260 kilometers so I think that's really a good number especially if you use it for the daily commute and city drive I will now keep it quiet and let you enjoy this smooth ride until we get to the highway We are entering the highway now, I'm going to put it to sport mode and now let's see uh, the acceleration, this is uphill but never mind from 80 to 120 this is very good, I mean have in mind this is the uphill a significant uphill We'll do it again on the normal section so far 100 kilometers per hour behind this truck feels good no noises or anything like that all right once again let's do from 100 to 100 and 30 press the throttle there you go 130 feels okay you do have some wind noise but you know not bad at all the thing is it's limited I mean I'm not sure if it's limited but the top speed is 150 you can't drive more than that but I do feel that it's got you know much more potential I think uh, and you can also see the lane assist in action I will demonstrate you that right now the lane assist that keeps you in lane there you have it look at this you see it was blinking there and let, let's do it again it actually works very well I'm gonna show you once again let's see if it managed to get us out of this yes it will but it says hold the steering wheel we're gonna hold it and yeah I'm not gonna play with that anymore but you get the point very good indeed and that's about it now you saw it on the highway uh, you saw the city drive also there is a night point of view drive and in that review go check all those out and tell me in the comments what do you think about this car 
thank you very much for watching do subscribe to the channel in order to see more car reviews and that's about it see you on the next video bye bye